came here on the way to Borneo. I was a missionary in China and intended to go to Borneo, but when I arrived in Hong Kong, I thought the need was in Hong Kong because I thought it was a very undemocratic place. At that time, the Chinese were definitely second-class citizens. The British had the run of the place, you know. If you're British, you got first treatment in the post office or in any government office. You would be given the prime, uh, primary opportunity to, to get what you wanted or talk to the officers. But if you're Chinese, just wait in the queue. Well, I came from the north of England, where I think they had a different attitude at that time. I wouldn't say everybody, but the general attitude in the north of England was more friendly. Yeah. We were not colonially minded. And I was lucky that my father was anti-colonialism. So I, brought, I was brought up with the idea that colonies were wrong, you see. Oh, things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things white and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. I came here on my way to Borneo. I saw it in practice. And I'm realizing, yeah, this is really yes. undemocratic. Yes, I've seen a policeman grab a Chinese woman by, the, by her hair and drag her out of the market because she didn't have a license to offer. Why are you doing this to the city? She, she operating without license. And no when I went to speak to him, I said, why are you doing this to this lady? He said, well, she's operating without her license. I said, yes, but did you really have to pull her out by her hair? Mm. That was the attitude. The squatter area was uh, built up by a lot of people who were coming from China at that time because of the Civil War. You know, it was, there was a, uh, the, the war between the communists and the nationalists. I don't know if you know the history. No, 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 no. So but no, there was a war going on in China, a civil war going on in China. And a lot of um, refugees came. With the civil war raging in China, there was refugees coming to Hong Kong every day. Many refugees came. Some of them, they would build cardboard huts on the pavement. And there was wooden huts in the squatter area, run by triads. If you had money, you could get more or less what you wanted from the triads. But if you didn't have any, but if you couldn't pay them, nobody would stop them. Because at that time, the local government, they worked with the triads. If you couldn't pay the mafia, too bad. Your hut would be demolished. Or set on fire. Or set it on fire. <laughs> 